After missing the Spring Gabbler opener, I was able to get out for my first hunt of 2021 on May 3rd. The rain made it difficult to hear any gobbles, let alone actually talk to the camera, but not long after first light, I noticed a deer embedded just 30 yards away. Well, I think we're gonna have to head back. It's been raining pretty good for the past hour or so, and it's got to the point that I'm not super comfortable having the camera out getting that wet. I don't have a good way to keep it dry, but cool little encounter with the deer anyway, and a good reminder. It can seem like there's nothing around. I never did hear a gobble this morning, but yet a deer can sneak in 30 yards behind us and bed down, so just goes to show they can be around, and sometimes they're just trying to be as quiet as we are, but. We're gonna head back, get everything dried out, and hopefully when we come back out, it'll be for a little longer, but cool morning anyway. Unfortunately, my decision to head back came too late. My camera had gotten wet and had stopped working, so I had to miss the following day. The consistent responses continued as daylight broke, but they quickly started to get farther away. What turned out to be more than one bird suddenly appeared up the hill over my shoulder. Despite the decoy being in the open, they seemed to just ignore it. As they passed through, movement to get them on film simply wasn't an option but I was hoping that maybe they would turn back around with some calling after they had passed behind me. Well, that was interesting. There were four jakes that kind of went up the hill back behind us where I couldn't film. And uh, I'm not sure if we got any footage at all, but I don't know if they didn't see the decoy or if they didn't care. They came within about 60 yards of it. Like I said, they were just younger birds, so we're gonna go for a walk, we'll do a little call and see if we can maybe get a response and set up elsewhere, but not too bad for kinda just picking a spot this morning. Got to see a couple anyway. The first time I stopped to call, I caught some movement just ahead of me. Two deer were headed my direction.
few more setups didn't yield any further encounters, but I left the woods on a high note after the morning's events. The following day, I tried a new spot, and once again, there was movement everywhere I looked. Quick note, as always guys, if you've not already checked out Meat Hunters here on YouTube, be sure to do so. You can see my hunting videos a full 4 days earlier over on that channel, plus the hunts from the other guys in the Meat Hunters crew. The link for that will be in the description below. Once again, multiple setups in the mid-morning didn't end up producing any activity, and that was my last opportunity to hunt that week. But for a week that started out with losing a camera to rain damage and not even being able to hear gobbles in the distance, it turned around and ended up producing some really great moments with both turkeys and deer. Hopefully we can build on that as the season continues on, and hopefully we can put a bird on the ground. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.